In news overseas, the United States, Europe, and India, Afghanistan, plus the Philippines are all located in the planet's northern hemisphere. Yet the U.S. and Europe, as opposed to the last three countries, have been a tale of opposites for the last few weeks on extreme climate. These first ones baking in extreme and prolonged scorching heat, while the other three wallowing and drenching in floods and wetness, as VOA's Arash Basadi reports. The sun scorches the streets of Phoenix, Arizona in the southwestern United States. For nearly all of July, temperatures have been at or above 43 degrees Celsius. Here, in a tent city known as The Zone, are the people most likely to die in the extreme desert heat, the homeless. Extreme heat forced the city of Phoenix to deploy creative measures to keep people cool. The city's been sending one of the, the Valley Metro uh, extended buses out here. It sits out here for a couple hours so we can sit in them and stay cool, not sitting in the sun. That's different. I never experienced that before. It's a nice way to stay cool. Experts say urban communities suffer the harshest effects of heat, a product of city planning. These extreme heat waves are disproportionately dangerous for communities of color and lower income communities, simply because these areas tend to have many fewer trees and much more uh, infrastructure like parking lots and roads in them that actually absorb more of the sun's energy and then raise the air temperature in these neighborhoods. That persistent high heat threatens even the healthiest members of the population if they ignore their body's warning signs. If you're out in the heat, you should be sweating. If all of a sudden you're feeling hot and you're not sweating, it means your system is starting to shut down, you don't have enough fluids, and you run an extremely high risk of having what we call a heat stroke, which can be a life-threatening emergency. Phoenix is far from alone in suffering sweltering heat this year. The National Weather Service is reporting a full 60% of people living in the United States were under heat advisories or flood warnings as of late last week. Meanwhile, India's weather agency issued alerts for heavy to very heavy rainfall in multiple regions amid a monsoon season that's already dropped 2% more rainfall this year than normal. More than 100 people have died in the rains with around 1,600 hectares of land sunk in floodplains. Scientists say monsoons, accompanying landslides and flash floods are becoming more erratic because of climate change. It's a different picture from what's happening in the capital of Afghanistan. The global heat wave and severe drought have forced residents of Kabul to pay high prices and travel long distances for water. One resident told the Associated Press he spends half of his salary on rent and the rest on water. Climate scientists say this July by far has been the hottest month on record. That means all of us have lived through the hottest weeks in recorded history and likely the hottest in 120,000 years. Arash Arabasadi, VOA News.